morning, beautiful blessed ones. Um, we are here today to get to this thing called life. <laughs> I woke up this morning feeling energized, just grateful. You know, I hear the birds outside, see the butterflies, and you know, smell that crisp air. You know, even though it's kind of cold outside, <laughs> it's just blessed to actually feel it. Because you know, a lot of people didn't wake up this morning. You know, um, I've been, you know, you guys caught me at a very emotional moment, but I was happy that I was able to share that with you guys. Because I usually, I always, you know, I'll just, you know, if I get emotional, I try to turn my face or whatever. But, you know, people need to see, you know, we're human. You're going to go through things. You know, you're going to be happy. You're going to be sad. You're going to be excited. You're going to be confused. You know, I go through that every day because I know I'm getting closer and closer to my destiny. You know, I don't feel like I have anything to worry about. I don't have any fear. I'm not worried about what people say about me or what they think about me because only me, I know what I'm going through, you know, and I just felt blessed to be able to, you know, to share this with you guys, you know, each and every day and, um, and just know that the things that are going on, you know, it, it's just, I was able to talk to, you know, a couple of people and, um, you know, ask them, you know, is this normal? You know, I thought I was just picking up just certain traits of my dad and I probably am, you know, cause I really feel like more and more every day we're starting to look a little bit more, more and more alike. I start visioning things that I've seen him do. Um, I'm starting to, you know, get more clarity on everything that I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, and it's just that I noticed that all the research and stuff that I'm doing and all the different videos, um, and Cam wants to say hi to, he wants to get his shout outs and everything, um, that I don't really see that too many people of color really uh, on here expressing, you know, their feelings and everything. You know, and I mean, it's just so many things that's going on with us dividing. You know, we all need to come together. I get so tired. I mean, I don't even watch TV anymore um, because of all the stuff that's going on. Um, it's just really crazy that, you know, we're all dividing. You know, um, people don't, they fear what they don't understand. You know, and it's just the more I see it, it just feels surreal. You know, and I'm meeting new people, and um, I, I see a lot of things that are, I mean, they're very talented, you know, and I, I was um, talking to a friend of mine, a new friend of mine, and I'm just like, you're just so talented, you need to just go out there and do it, you know, um, I don't, I see a lot of people that, you know, as this, you know, coming through my, my channel, which I would love for you guys to subscribe, you know, tell me your feelings, you know. Um, let me know, you know, have you been through this? Are you going through it now? Um, or have you already ascended and you're, you know, you're at your destiny and you're, you know, you're making the world great. Um, just drop a line and let me know. Um, it, it's just, I'm glad that I'm, I'm able to do this with you guys. Cause I, I mean, I don't know if I said it already, but you know, I was just feeling so good this morning. My mind is just going a thousand miles an hour. You know, I don't feel any worry at all. I remember it was just a few days ago. I'm just like, man, am I going to see my family, you know, and God keeps blessing me with these visions. You know, I keep seeing my aunt and it's just like every time it's like, she's trying to tell me something. I'm always woken up to either somebody knocking on my door or alarm clocks going off or whatever so I guess it's not I'm not ready for that yet and I know um this morning I woke up at 3 33 in the morning and I was talking right before that I had a dream that my friend my friends were telling me you know we're really gonna miss you really gonna miss you and I said I'm happy I'm finally on my way home and I went to the bathroom and I was just like you know think 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 you have to write this down you have to write this down it's like anytime you have a dream and you're going through something make sure you keep a notebook by your bed dictate note you know take notes of, of the things that you're going through or whatever and you might have to go back and look you know like man you know that was it that was what it was telling me you know because I, I started doing that and and then my friend was just like, oh, I'm going to miss you or whatever. I said, I'm, I'm my, finally on my way home. I'm really happy. I said, I'm going to miss you guys. But, I'm, you know, we're going to still speak, but I'm just going to be in a different place. And then when I look at uh, my daughter had texted me um, when she was out with her friends last night. 
and I didn't get a chance to look at the message and I would look up and she says I'm on my way home and it just so happened to say 11 11 and I mean I just felt tears coming out my eyes you know and I was, I'm just I'm, I'm happy if you guys see me tearing up right now it's just very happy tears it's just emotional happiness you know um it, it just felt like I have euphoria you know um just knowing that I'm getting closer and closer to meeting my family, you know, knowing that, you know, God, if, you know, everything, you know, I was getting impatient, like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing people, um, I uh, join this page where adopted people are trying to find their families, and, you know, I got like a little note last night um, in my you know, my uh, notifications, so I'm just like, you know, I don't want to see this right now, you know, because I really want to be home with my family, but then I'm like, you know what, it's, it's not time, obviously God has something very big ready for me, and I know um, I have to go through this and share and spread love to you guys, just let you know, you know, you're going through stuff, you know, you're going to go through stuff, everybody goes through situations and we try to figure out why are we going through this, you don't understand why are things happening? Why are people treating me, you know, the way they treat me? You know, you have to step back and look at what people are you attracting? What you, what people that, you know, you need to break away from? You know, and I, you know, it's just a lot of people I enjoy being around, but some of them were just negative. You know, I could have been, you know, I, I, I know I got to that point where when this first happened and I, I was at rock bottom very rock bottom and just you know crying upset angry you know mad at everybody in the world you know and I had to, you know still I, I try to say you know I don't understand but then I'm starting to get you know the thing where okay you had to go through this you know even though your dad has passed and you are able to physically meet him my dad is here every day so it's not like I can really miss him you know, so I know he's here every day with me and speaking to me and telling me you're, you're closer, you're getting closer, you're getting closer. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. Just be my mirror. You know, he wants me to just be his mirror. And um, I'm going to do that, you know. Um, so, I mean, it just feels really good, you know, to know. Uh, you know, if you guys have, you know, any any situations that you guys are going through, don't be afraid to tell anybody. Don't worry about what people think. You know, they're going to talk about you anyway. <laughs> but at least you know you felt good for telling somebody. And maybe not might be that person that might say something positive. But, you know, they're closed-minded. People fear what they don't understand. They, you know, they'll talk about you crazy. I mean, there are people that, you know, that they do that do have mental issues but as this I don't really feel it's like a mental issue it's just like people are programmed to make us think that we're like that way and it feels good to know there is a lot more people out here like me like you maybe the people are watching but um I mean it's all good you know it's just all good I'm just glad you know I'm able to you know put a video out you know maybe you're just curious and trying to see you know does she really look like Prince or is she really Prince's daughter or whatever? You know, um, it to me, it just, you know, as long as I know I'm doing for the greater good, that's the only thing that matters. You know, people's negativity and opinion about me, you know, um, some don't like the situation because they feel like I'm, I'm, you know, up here. And I really don't feel that way because if you look deep into my situation and see everything I've been through, I mean, that's, you know, that's nothing to be jealous off of. That's nothing to envy, you know, because, I mean, I went through hell. And it's just like, if, if I was to choose to walk in somebody else's shoes, I probably wouldn't be able to do two steps. So I just feel that way about myself. So um, it's just a lot of things that I'm grateful for. You know, I used to always just pray, like, please let me do this for my family. And I know that God knows what I want. He knows that that's my heart desires to be back with my family, feel loved for once. You know, um, because it just seems like, you know, when you, you know, like a friend just told me, when you put yourself, you, you know, you put love in materialistic things, it's very short. You're very short. You have to, you know, you have to love. You have to love everything. You know, even though you don't like it, you have to learn how to take something out of it and see what you loved. Because this is everything that I've been through. It's been jacked up. But trust me, it benefited me in the long run. 
So um, I'm glad I was able to talk to you guys today. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous, and different Friday. Because I said, thank God this week is over. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you have a good, blessed, prosperous day. And have a safe weekend. Be safe. Peace and love.